Well, back out to the man cave. I went to the, uh, I went to the, uh, army surplus store the other day, looking for a couple of things, and I ran across this here. It's an old hatchet, it's not army or nothing, but they just happen to have it. I don't know where they got it from, or what it went down, or what the story is, but it's an old hatchet. I wish I'd took pictures of it earlier, but it's a little short 25 inch hatchet. It had black electrician's tape all the way down here and a little duct tape at the top. What had happened is, I don't know if you can see it now, but there's a split. This whole thing was split in half. When I took the tape off, it actually came out in two pieces. Maybe you can see the crack a little better right here. See the crack right there? I'm talking about the whole thing was cracked in half. But it had a nice head on it. This was the patina on the head when I first got it. And now, and this is, I've been working on it. I knocked some edges off here. I put a nice edge on it. Can you see that? This side is, I'm just working on it. I'm still, it's still a work in progress. Now look at this side. It's coming out pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. As I was saying, look, the patina was like that at first. It was all rusted, like black looking. And I've sanded it down a little bit. I'm using, uh, I'm using this dealy here. Flat, a flat sandpaper. You know what I'm talking about? I'm using 80 grit right now. It through I'm gonna put it on the uh, oh no not the belt sander I used that to to work on this wood to round it off a little bit I glued it last night and I clamped it all shut I used uh, one two three four five I got another one back there about six clamps to clamp it down so it's glued pretty tight I also put some screws in there and then I grinded those down to make them round, see that? I put six screws. Okay, these are just wood screws I put in there, and then grinded them down so it'd be nice and smooth. My plan is to uh, buff out the uh, the head, the axe head, with my buffer uh, after I get through. You know, after I get through getting all the rust and. And the, uh, whatever you call that stuff, the corrosion, that's not corrosion, I, I guess it's, uh, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, once I get all that old brown stuff off of it, and I'm going to get it nice and shiny, I'm going to put it on there, I'm going to shine it out on my buffing wheel, make it look good, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to, I'm going to either dip it in lacquer, or just oil it or something. I'm going to have to look on YouTube and see if I can find what's the best thing to treat an axe head to keep it fresh. And to keep it from getting rusty. And uh, I'll show it to you. I mean, I'll let you check it out when I get to uh, excuse this mess up in here. I, I, I really need to clean out my garage. Peace out, Combray.